Hi beauty pies and welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you a makeup tutorial, a full face makeup tutorial. I wanted to do a festive fall makeup look. So the central color here is purple. Purple to me is really very fall, especially in October. Like I think the maroons and the golds and the greens more for like November and after that. But with October, you still have like a mix of the summer and the fall and that makes Purple. I really did spend more time and focus on the products on my skin. I really wanted to just enrich my face and make my skin look youthful yet mature. I do like a nice glow to the face and now I like to add it through my powders or through my blush. And so that's what I did here. I'm using some new products that I love. I have discovered a powder that I have used it before. It is a gem and it is available at the drugstore. Not a gem because it's an affordable product because I have higher end products that I'll even use in this video and it does not do the same thing. I mean, you'll see, I'm gonna use the same beauty tool to apply both of them and you'll see a major difference in my look once I apply this hidden gem. And you'll just see, like it corrects like a variety of wrongs. If you mess up on your concealer, or you forgot to use your corrector, this powder just conceals in, in just the most amazing way with just a little bit of powder. And you can use a brush or this. I did use this one in this video, but I have used it with a brush before and it does the same thing. You'll just love this powder. What else did I use? Oh yeah, this bronzer by Huda Beauty is also a really nice one. I like it because it does have a subtle shine to it. I am also wearing a blush that has a subtle shine to it. So that's what this is, a mix of both of that. But this is what I applied first. And it did give me a really nice bronze. I also used a concealer to contour. It's the first time I've ever done that. And I love the results. Also using a new lipstick. This could explain why my look went a little fuchsia. So now let me show you how I got this look. I do have a new brow routine that I've been trying out and I like it so far. So I'm gonna show you the new product that I'm using. It's this brow glue from NYX. Brow glue is basically more potent than like a brow gel or brow gel will just brush your hairs into place. Brow glue really just makes your brows stick to wherever you put them. So you can essentially give yourself a mini brow lift. So this is what it looks like. Start from the front and just start brushing up. It just takes your brows just straight up And by the time I get about midway here, I do have to make sure like I twist the brush to make sure I get more glue on the brow. And then from here, you just kind of want to decide what you want to do, what kind of shape you want to go with. So I know that I want to keep this arch here. So the rest of my hairs here, I'm just going to take the brush and just kind of comb it down like that. I'm just taking my finger and I'm just pressing the brow up. And so that's gonna make it stick a little better. Okay, so after I've pressed it up, I'm going to take a spoolie and just brush it down again. Oh, I'm gonna be using the Patrick Ta Major Defining Brow Pencil in soft black. I'm gonna go ahead and draw in my arch as usual. Next, I'm going to apply some primer. This is the Lancome La Base Pro. It's the makeup primer. It has a smoothing effect. So I recently, for the first time ever, mixed two foundations just to try it out and was so surprised by the result. I have these two great foundations that have one imperfection. This one by Hourglass, this is the Soft Glow Foundation, is a pinch too dark. And this one, the L'Oreal True Match, Tinted Serum. This is in the color 6, 7, Tan, and this is in the color 13. This one is not a pinch, a hair too light. When I was reaching for this the other day, I thought, you know what, why don't I just mix these two? So I decided to mix them, and lo and behold, my first foundation mix ever. It's a dream come true. I'm gonna take one pump of each. You can see that's the color that comes out, and I'm going to apply it on my face first. It just really just presses everything in and makes sure that there's no foundation sitting on top of my skin. Okay, the concealer I'm using today is the Huda Beauty Concealer. I'm using the color Peanut Butter 6.7. It has a peachy undertone, which is okay because with under my under eyes, I tend to use like a peach color corrector if I am using a color corrector. So I didn't mind that it was peachy, but there was really no other color that would work for me. And I really looked. So I'm just gonna 
pat this on with my finger first and then I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender just like I did with the foundation. Just lightly pressing the beauty blender. And now I'm gonna contour using a new product. It's the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I'm gonna be using the darkest color available. It is the color, okay, it doesn't have the color on here. It is the darkest shade, at least the one that darkest shade that was available at CV. However, I used this one time before just to try it out and I liked it. I do think I could have gone one shade lighter. The shade that was lighter than this was warmer. That's why I went with this one because this is, I wanted something more neutral. I'm going to actually go ahead and put this on my hand first. See, just a tiny little amount. Then I'm just going to take my beauty blender and just kind of balance it right there. And then I know it looks really dark, but it blends out really nicely and it really looks so natural. As dark as it is, it's actually the real color of my contour. Like I have like a, some pigmentation there. So now we're gonna set everything with some powders. This is my favorite part. Okay, so I'm gonna just first go in with this Laura Mercier translucent powder to set the whole face. This is the large powder brush F20 by Sigma. I'm gonna get the all over the brush. Press that into the skin very lightly. I'm going in with more powders. I just wanted to set the whole face with this first. Now for my under eyes, I'm gonna set again with some powder. This is the IT Cosmetics Celebration Foundation. I'm using a new beauty tool. These little powder puffs from Amazon. I've seen this used quite a bit here on YouTube and so I was just very intrigued. Tap into the powder foundation. Of course, it's so easily angled for this area. I'm gonna go back in, pick up a little more. I'm trying a new bronzer. This is by Glowish by Huda Beauty. And this is in the color Deep Tan. It's a soft radiance bronzing powder. I'm using the Sigma F10 to apply this. Color is very subtle, but you can see that it provides a little bit of a glow too. Okay, so I'm gonna prime my eyes with the same Huda Beauty concealer. I do think that when you use a concealer that is your skin tone, you get a lot of concealing. Like it conceals better than a brightening concealer. Even if you're not using it as brightening and you're just going a shade lighter, I think using the same skin tone color gives you more coverage with less. Now I'm going in with this eyeshadow palette from Revlon. This is the Colorstay Day to Night eyeshadow palette in the color Exquisite. I used this once before. Didn't like the shimmers. I didn't think that they really did much, but I really liked both of the mattes. This is the Morphe 412, and I'm gonna take the light pink first and apply that in my crease. And go over that with some of the darker shade. I went a little too far down, so I'm gonna take just some of this and wipe it off there. Okay, that's better. Now for the lid, I'm gonna go in with this Maybelline Color Tattoo Cream Eyeshadow. It's in the color Knockout. Now I'm gonna line my eyes with this eye pencil. This is by CoverGirl. It's the Exhibitionist 24 hour coal eyeliner. It's in the color black. It's a really, really good affordable drugstore option for black eyeliner if you're looking for one. For mascara, I'm using the Monsieur Big by Lancome, a really great thickening and lengthening mascara. For my lower lash line, I want to pretty much do the same thing on top except make it a little darker. So for my lower lash line, I'm gonna add this purple first.
I wanna make my lower lash shine a little darker, so I'm gonna go and take this dark brown from the Huda Beauty Love Fest eyeshadow palette. Make sure it connects to the top. Now I'm gonna take that black cold pencil and I'm going to line the lower lash line. I'm pretty much just smudging this onto the lash line and then I'm gonna blend it out. I'm going to take that same brush and then blend it out. I'm just gonna take some black eyeshadow to line the lower lash line. As you can see, I got some eyeshadow on my eyes. I'm just taking my puff again. Do my best to take that off. I'm not even sure how that got there. What did I do? I got most of it off. I am going to add a powder at the end to brighten, and I think that will help. It's okay. We're going to add some powder, some highlighting powder to the under eye area to fix that up. I'm going to now add the same coal liner to the lower lash line. Always need something on that lower lash line. Okay, now I'm gonna add lashes. I'm adding the Lily Lashes in the Style Mykonos Light. I went ahead and I added the false lashes, and then I also added some mascara, same one, to the lower lashes. Okay, now we're just gonna do a few more finishing touches on the face. First, I wanna add some blush. Let's do blush, where's blush? The blush I'm using is the CoverGirl True Blend So Flushed in the color Love Me. And it's just a really pretty look when you have like a bright eye makeup look going. Okay, so for a lipstick, I'm trying a new lipstick. This is the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Lipstick. And this is in the color Mover. Just gonna take some more of that color of that lipstick and then I'm gonna add some of this lipstick. This is the Jaclyn Cosmetics liquid lipstick in the color Be Brave. I like to use this as a mix-in. So I'm just going to add that on top of that. Both these liquid lipsticks are so pigmented. I literally just did a tiny swatch of both. Two absolutely great lipsticks and they look so nice together. There's also some really nice lighter shades of this Maybelline lipstick. So obviously the Jaclyn Cosmetics is more expensive, but this one right here, they have a color called pale or peony, something with a P. It's like, like the first shade or the second shade. Both the first and second shade, they're extremely light and pale. Got a brownish undertone so that it's great to use as a mix-in, just like I used this one. So if you're interested in you know mixing something like this to get this color and you don't want to do a high-end one, you can just try one of the lighter shades of this one. Last step, we're going to add some powder to highlight the center of the face and get rid of a little bit of that fallout that I had underneath the eyes and because I forgot to add some powder underneath the eyes. So this powder that I'm about to use is quickly becoming like my holy grail secret favorite powder ever. A powder by e.l.f. Cosmetics. So let me show you what I do before I brag about it. Just lightly dabbed into this powder. I'm gonna add this here, right there. That's it. Can you see the difference? I can see the difference. It's the Prime and Stay Finishing Powder by e.l.f. and it is in the color Light Medium. I would go a shade lighter than what you would normally get for this type of brightening effect. And as you can see, it's not just brightening. Like, you see the coverage it gave me? Like, for my under eye, it like completely concealed the darkness. I had the same darkness. Watch what happens when I put it on this side. Very light dab of it like look at that and i know i'm using this for the first time too but it's not just this because i applied this in my last video with just like a little brush what brush was it it was actually this one i used this real techniques brush and it's a setting brush and i just used this a very light dab of this and it did the same thing it gave me that same highlighting effect same coverage on the under eye and so you know using this just makes it even better.
putting some here as well. But wherever I typically brighten with concealer, this is what I'm using instead. This, you know, I wasn't like hesitant to use a concealer that was my skin tone or just a little darker because I knew that this would brighten very effectively. Don't forget about this powder. Try it out. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something from this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye!